today I will be searching for vegan options at Tenerife's most famous market, the Mercado Municipal Nuestra Señora de Africa, or in short, often referred to as Africa Market. The market is located in Santa Cruz, the island's capital, and is not only one of the biggest markets on the Canary Islands, but also one of the oldest and was established 80 years ago, in 1943. The market consists of around 140 stalls spread across two floors. And as you can see, the building alone is worth a visit. But what about the market itself? Should you include a visit in your vacation plans or are there better alternatives? I will show you around and look for vegan options so you can see for yourself if you want to include the market in your itinerary. So here we have some stalls with cheese and meat, which is obviously not vegan. Uh, let's see what else we got. There are also some stalls downstairs. So let's go around and have a look. We have some fresh produce, some fruits and vegetables, so that's a start. This might be good if you want to buy actual groceries, but I want to see if the market would also do for a more sightseeing sort of tour. If you're only here for a short duration or might not actually be staying in an apartment with a kitchen, fruits and vegetables might not exactly be what you are looking for. So here are some stores selling local crafts. This could be a great way to find unique souvenirs. Just make sure to avoid leather and seashells. And I could also see some beeswax. So yeah, just make sure to avoid any animal derived materials and you should be fine. I think there's quite some nice finds that you could get as small gifts or presents. Ah, que guapo, esos son unos imanes de, de Frida Kahlo, no? Que bien. ¿Qué dicen los imanes? Yo te cielo. Yo te cielo. Ella ha sido un juego de palabras. En vez de decir yo te quiero, ah. decía yo te cielo. Decía que su amor era grande como el universo. Y el cielo, la intensidad del cielo, lo comparaba con el amor que tenía con el esposo. ¡Oh, qué bonito! La frase es mucho más larga, obviamente, pero es muy bonita. ¿no? Toda la frase es muy bonita. Ah, Nosotros pues. dicen que iba la vida, que también lo decía muchísimo. Y esta también es una frase bonita. Donde no puedas amar, no te demores. Son todas frases de Frida. ¡Ah, qué guapo! Esa frase es muy bonita. Lo, ¿Los imanes de Frida cuántos salen? Donde ahí en el medio que todos son de cinco. Y después tienen los tres, los más grandes. Vale. ¿Eres de aquí o estás de visita? Sí, vivo aquí, pero soy alemana. Ah, así alemana. que. Ah, sí. Uno de mis hijos estuvo trabajando. Ahí cerca, mm. cerca de Frankfurt. El lugar donde nació Johann Sebastian Bach. Ah, vale, ahí, sí. Ahí cerca. Ah, Muy pues qué bien. Gustó la zona. Había qué bien. Mucho verde, sendero para allá. Sí, ir. eso es bastante guapo y la naturaleza y eso. <risa> Pues mira, de los imanes creo que me llevo lo, lo, lo sí, cojo, el lo que, que... Quieras, me llevo este entonces, el... Este, yo te siento. Este ah, mí. muchísimas gracias. Gracias a ti. <risa> My nombre es Walt. Dice Cali Macetas. Ah, vale, genial. Es en Instagram, donde publico todos los trabajos. Tengo todo ahí publicado. Ah, pues qué guapo, Por ejemplo, eh. me envían una foto de sus mascotas y les hago el retrato. Oh, qué bonito. Puede ser así, o en una maceta con estos gatitos. 
Ah, pues qué bien, ¿eh? Pues me encanta tu trabajo, ¿eh? A mí, aquí me encuentras todos los días. Por la página también. El día que quieras algo, me, me publicas ahí una dibujo que quieras y se hace. Ok, so I can highly recommend this stall right here if you want some local souvenirs that show different scenes of Tenerife and also some fan art of Frida Kahlo. If you want to look for some unique souvenirs, definitely check out the stand. Now this is interesting. Remember how I told you that the market was first started in 1943. So apparently this historic clock has been installed in 1943 as well for the founding of the market. And there's a little sign right here with some information about the history behind it. And uh, yeah, I almost walked past, so that's definitely something you might want to check out when visiting the market. I'm starting to feel a little hungry, and right outside the market is this fully vegan spot. I've come across this place on Happy Cow ages ago, but have never gotten around to actually trying it. So I'm quite excited to see what the food is like. Now, as you can see outside, there's quite a few stalls as well. There's this rastro type of thing uh, going on, and um, apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, this is only going on uh, on Sundays. There are some stalls as well during the week, but um, most of these stalls are only here on Sundays, and this is huge. So there's all the streets around the market closed off. And um, I actually had difficulty finding parking. So unless you want to come specifically for the Rastro, uh, I think during the week might maybe be better just to avoid all the people and just to be able to park closer to the market if you only want to come for the market itself and don't care for the Rastro. But it's, it's actually nice. There's tons of stalls. So um, yeah, if you want to see that, do come on a Sunday and maybe there's some types of souvenirs as well for you to find. So this is the place. It's called Crest Corner and as you can see, it's right outside the market. With the market closing at 2 p.m. and Crest Corner closing at 4 p.m., this is an ideal place if you want to grab some lunch after exploring the market. And I think they also have some breakfast options, so let's go and see what they have on the menu. ¿Les importa si voy a un video para YouTube mientras que hago el pedido y ya está? Sin problema, sí, sí. Sí, vale, perfecto. Como tenemos tanto eh, platos principales como platos de cuchara como cofrecitos, ahora tenemos que hacer combinaciones. Por ejemplo, el principal con cofre, también tenemos los principales con un plato de cuchara, por ejemplo. También tenemos el combo 3, que es el principal, el plato de cuchara y el cofre. Y luego tenemos el combo 4, que son cuatro principales. Son tres. Ah, perfecto. Y además los platos son reformables, porque los platos no van. Ah, qué bien. Porque los lleva. ¿Por qué? Porque la idea es que nos los traiga, ¿vale? Para poder seguir reutilizándolos. Porque, por ejemplo, yo qué sé, este pollo es un musa y a lo mejor mañana es un alba. Claro, claro. Ah, ratito, esa es la idea. Ah, pues perfecto. Y después dijiste que también en, en nevera también aguanten bastante, ¿no? Aguanten siete días en la nevera desde la fecha que pone aquí detrás. Claro, porque normalmente ah, producimos ciertos días. Y desde las pechitas que pone por aquí detrás, aguanta si te dices nada, mira, porque están hechas algo así. ¿Algo que me podría recomendar para pa comer aquí? ¿Hay alguna cosa? No, no, mira, justo aquí no nos está, nosotros tenemos uno que está para dejar, que es este, este de aquí. De aquí, con lentejas, salteadas con alajito. Ah, vale, con genial. Con dos besos ahí espirulina. Ah, vale, perfecto. Ensalada de lentejas y verde salteada. Ah, pues perfecto, pues cojo este, cojo este mismo chiquita. entonces. Te lo llevo, te lo voy calentando y te lo saco. Perfecto, muchísimas gracias. Ah, 
Muchísimas gracias. Ah. Okay, so all of the food comes in those glasses. You can decide whether you want your food pre-warmed or not. I'm having a quinoa lentil meal and I've just had it warmed up and let's see what this tastes like. Oh, so this smells really nice. It has this really intense smell of herbs and yeah, let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Mm. Oh, this is really good. This tastes really healthy, but in a good way. It tastes really fresh. It has these really intense flavors. Mm. I have to say, I did not expect it to be this good. You see those glasses and it doesn't seem as impressive at first. But once you try it, mm, 10 out of 10. Vale, vale, perfecto. Pues genial, pues creo que voy a probar este entonces. Venga, estupendo. Okay, so with all those breakfast options, I definitely need to come here only for breakfast at one point as well. For now, I've gotten quite a few things for dessert. So they also have desserts in those little glasses. This is some type of cashew cream and they also have some chia puddings. And I've also gotten a chocolate cookie um, as well as a lemon muffin. So this place is really, I'm so amazed. Hey. I'm so amazed at all the options there are and I didn't expect them to have that many desserts as well. So I'm a dessert lover and I'm absolutely thrilled. Let's give this a go. Ooh. Okay, that was harder than I thought. This looks absolutely delicious. You can see these sort of crumbled cookies in there. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. You can taste the apple, but at the same time, it's also really sweet, but not overpowering sweet and the crumbles on top are just the best. Mm. Let's try the muffin as well. Mm. Really good. Oh. Okay, so I'm really impressed with all of these dessert options. I can't even decide which one I like best. This is absolutely incredible. Mm. I love this cream dessert and the crumbs simply because it's something that you wouldn't really get everywhere. And then the muffin tastes really similar to the crumbs that are in the dessert. And I'd recommend this place to just come here for some dessert, like maybe you've already had some lunch. It's absolutely worth it to come just for the dessert options. All in all, I do think visiting the Africa market is a solid choice when planning your vacation. I just love the location and I think it's great that you can experience a bit of local culture and atmosphere while visiting. Also, the Crest Corner is such a cool spot for a quick and healthy lunch. 
Council, especially when you are already in the area or if you are staying close to Santa Cruz, I'd recommend you come here and have a stroll around the market. It's technically open all week from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. However, it appears that many stalls close on Mondays, so that might not be the best day for your visit. Have you been to this specific market in the past or to any similar types of markets in other cities or countries? Let me know in the comments below and tell me what your experiences have been with getting vegan food in markets like these. If you are interested in more vegan travel tips and recommendations for visiting Tenerife, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I also have some videos coming up about visiting mainland Spain, so stay tuned if that's something you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!